What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Empress555, coming at you today with another reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look into your energy, going to see what's there, see what's in store, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. Leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if the reading resonates with you. If you would like information on a personal reading, please see the description box below. We have the special for $20.22 for the um, personal reading celebrating 2022, okay? So definitely want to get your hands on that personal read. All right, let's get a couple more shuffles in before we get started. Hope everybody is doing well today. I feel like I want to get one more. All right. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. All cross watchers, always welcome. Pisces, <laughs> already I'm feeling like... Um, I'm getting kingdom vibes, literally kingdom vibe, like royalty. I know these is um, <clears throat> king of swords and queen of cups, but I'm feeling royalty. What I mean, Pisces, I feel like at this time, the way that you honor yourself, the way that you feel about yourself is somewhat on the lines of royalty. You could really hold yourself in a high regard at this time because of the work that you've done. Because of just the um, processing that you've been doing. Getting like royalty. That came out so strong. Because you went through some challenges, like we all have, but when you overcame these challenges, Pisces, somehow you tapped into this um, holding yourself just a lot higher, believing more in yourself, being more in tune, loving yourself even more. All right, which is good. Okay. Wow. All right, Pisces, let's take a look here. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, Pisces, at this time, I am feeling like, literally, because of the lessons and everything that you've been through, right? I'm feeling royalty. I'm getting royalty vibes. What I mean is you feel like your highest version or you are working on yourself to get there. You're not going to stop until you feel your highest version. And that's where the justice card comes in at the bottom of the deck. It's where you get your justice. Maybe this is your justice coming out of some really difficult situations and now having this, this sense of royalty like queen and king vibes. We have the king of swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, absolutely. Feeling very secure in it, okay? Literally ready to ward off or get rid of anything that's going to interfere with your high sense of self. I'm also hearing rank. Some of you could be elevating in your job situation. You know, I don't know whether it's coming out like rank. Clarify that King of Swords. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Absolutely. Could have dealt. Um, Knight of Wands. Why am I why I say Virgo? I said Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Some of you could have dealt with the Earth sign. But that's Knight of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. So, Pisces. Out of all of the things that you've worked on for others, a lot of you probably up until now, haven't really worked on making you happy, really, really showing yourself appreciation. 
but I get the feeling Pisces, that's what you're doing at this time. That's why I'm feeling this royalty vibe, okay? We have the eight of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, absolutely. So with something that you've been working hard on that you haven't accomplished yet, but you are manifesting it. You got the magician at the bottom of the deck here. You are working very hard. You are manifesting whatever this is. This could be a new love situation, new job. Look at that. Will of fortune, new opportunity here. Definitely something new. Clarify that eight of Pentacles in reverse. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. You're working hard on something. Starting to see success in it or you're going to. Wow. Really feeling like you're elevating here. With the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. Also feel like your intuition has heightened because you've tapped into self. Clarify that Queen of Cups. With the two of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because of a choice. The intuition um, heightened because of a choice. There's a choice that you made. I think it was to walk away from some damaging situations. We have the three of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. Walked away from some situations that were da like damaging and going towards other things that brought you more solitude. Clarify the three of pentacles in the reverse with the nine of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. The damaging things you were just really ready to get away from. And once you did that, Pisces, your intuition heightened. Therefore, you started really loving yourself more with the moon card in the reverse. Pisces energy here. You started loving yourself more when you came out of this whatever these damaging situations were. Clarify that moon card in the reverse with the three of wands in the reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag. Because Pisces, you didn't see, you didn't recognize how much of an impact these things had on you until you were out of them. So once you did that, you made a promise to yourself. I'm never going to deplete my emotions again for anyone else. I'm never going to ignore how I feel for anyone else. I count. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, yeah. Recognizing that you count. Wow. Clarify that Eight of Swords in the reverse with the Lovers, Gemini energy. Wow. Once you recognize that you count, Pisces, you probably started seeing more of your options manifesting in love. You know why? Because when you elevated you started attracting better. So you could have been attracting different caliber of people, a different type of person. Maybe you haven't found the person that you want yet, but you started attracting different energy, different types of people, different than what you've had before. Doesn't mean those old versions didn't try to pop up or people from the past. It's just that once you elevated vibrationally, and energetically, you started pulling in different energy to sync with. Wow. Because you said with the death card in the reverse, yeah. You, you um, got rid of a lot of things, like I said, damaging. And you transformed with that death and rebirth. We might as well say rebirth because when there's a death, there's a rebirth. So it's in the reverse because it already happened. It's showing up now because... This is where you're reflecting on that ending that led to your new beginning. OK, we have the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Absolutely. Coming out of that Nine of Swords, walking right into the Ten of, Ten of Cups because you deserve it, Pisces. And it's all because you are at this point. You feel like royalty. You feel like I'm a queen. I'm a king. That type of vibe. And you deserve to feel that way. Clarify that um, Ten of Cups in the reverse with the Fool card. Yeah, you have a, in the reverse, you have a heavy sense of self, okay? It's not a lightweight energy that you have when you think about yourself. It's a very heavy, confident, assured, you know, self-assured type of deal. Because you went through some difficult situations here with the Five of Wands 
Aries Leo Sag, you went through some situation Pisces that you didn't even know how you were gonna, gonna come out of them, but you made it. So when you came out of those situations, each time, you know, without you even knowing it, you got stronger and stronger to the point now that you're ready to just, like I said earlier, ward off anything that's gonna take away from your energy. Clarify that five of wands in the reverse with the star card. Yeah, you don't want anything that's not gonna see who you are. You don't want anything. So you're saying bye to it. You're getting rid of it, okay? Anything that's gonna take away from you being a star or you being that king or that king, that, king, that queen, that royalty, you're saying goodbye. Clarify that star card in the reverse with the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the thing is, you're not taking minimum actions or minimum effort, right? Not saying that everybody's um, love language is going to be the same. But Pisces, you are looking for something different these days. It's like you're not looking for someone that's going to like... Um, worship your feet or anything like that <laughs> it's not like that it's more of an energy of recognizing who you are and you want to be with somebody that recognizes the significance of your essence yeah you want something a connection on a more spiritual base you want this person to really identify and link with your soul your spirit because you feel like that would be more long standing, even through the darkest of times, you feel like this person will be able to tap into how they feel about you energetically and not want to just leave when times get tough. We have the Knight of Pentacles here, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yeah, Pisces, that represents the energy that, you know, you have said goodbye to. Like I said, that Knight of Cups, you appreciate little things when it comes to a love situation and it's not that you're not going to honor that but at the same time over time you are wanting that person that you're going to be with to show up a little bit more because pisces you when you love you love when you give you give and you're going to want your partner to give you more than just one cup one cup could be a compliment here or there. One cup could be one good deed here and there. No, you recognize Pisces that you deserve this 10 of cups. At one time, you didn't stand firm and, you know, just accept the knight of cups. You didn't stand firm like, okay, maybe that's not the best for me, but I'm going to take this anyway because of how I feel about this person. No, you want this person may not be able to offer you 10 of cups right off. But you want them with that food card here in the reverse. You want them to try diligently to work together so you both can have 10 of cups together. Doesn't mean it's going to be a perfect situation, but you want it to be unique and you want it to be just authentic. If that makes any sense. Clarify that Knight of cups in the reverse with the two of cups. Look at that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes. You want the union to be authentic. It's diagonal from the Ten of Cups here. You want the union that you have to be authentic. Rightfully so, Pisces. Let's see. Give me one second. How do people from the past see Pisces at this time? Not that it's important, but we'll just see. With all this transforming and going into your royalty status, how are people seeing you? Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, back to that King of Swords. So, yeah, they're seeing you standing up for yourself. They're seeing you taking your stance, taking your position, taking over, taking your position one goal one task one situation at a time they see this like this take charge energy yeah strength the strength card in the reverse leo energy kind of makes them question where they are <laughs> it kind of makes them question their own emotions pisces because of this strength that you have so it makes them question yeah two of wands aries leo sag 
kind of making them question their own status, their own stance in life. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. They kind of, some of them probably real, recognize and realize that they didn't see all of what makes you you. They didn't see this king or queen when they had you. You were always there. You were, maybe you needed to be a little dusted off, you know, emotionally and spiritually. But that king, that queen, that royalty um, persona was always there. It just would have taken the right individual to see it, the right spirit to see it. Final message for my Pisces. Let's go into the advice. We got a little time. Final message and advice for my Pisces. Well, well, Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Absolutely. What a good way to end the reading. So, yes, Pisces, Ace of Cups is what you deserve, what you are working on. Remember, you had that Knight of Cups there because you recognize that you deserve to have that equal give and take or, you know, Someone that's going to meet you halfway or meet you all the way there to work towards that Ten of Cups. And your ultimate fulfillment is the Ace of Cups. You want to be solid and secure in that. Wow. Beautiful reading. My royalty Pisces. <laughs> Please like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. Leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if this reading resonates with you. If you'd like information on a personal reading, please reach out to me at intuitive.piscean.empress at gmail.com. Thank you everybody for your love and support. I appreciate all of you. I love you with all of me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I hope this reading resonates. I hope this was something to really... Um, inspire and help you to conquer your everyday task. All of that good stuff. Have a blessed and safe one, everybody. Until next time. Bye.